I want to talk about the imbalance of convictions because the unbalanced convictions is a very important area for us to understand. It's crucial because it can explain why someone may have great, deep, even godly convictions and yet they may fall in the areas of a lack of conviction. This famous uh, leader certainly had strong convictions about the mission that God gave them. These strong convictions carried them through many challenges of ministry to succeed as they did. Yet at the same time, they had significant areas of weak convictions, areas which eventually led to their downfall, unfortunately. In part two, we now look at how this range of such convictions can exist in an individual in an unbalanced way.